Continuing on my Nexon kick, let's move on to one of my most requested games, Dragon Nest. Another free-to-play action MMO. I had never really heard of this game until people started asking about it. They said it had some of the best combat they've ever seen in an MMO. That's a pretty hefty claim there, random people on the internet. Let's rock this bitch. Literally. Yeah! can't see it right now, but I'm headbanging. Honestly, this video does a really good job of getting me pumped up to play the game, and it lets you know that despite the cutesy and somewhat dated graphics, this game has a bit of a hard edge to it, which is good because the graphics wouldn't let you know that on their own. You know what, let's just get this out of the way. The weakest part of this game is the graphics. They're rough. But as every comment section likes to say, graphics aren't everything. Unless you're on PC, in which case. Graphics are everything, and if you have less than real life graphics in your game, then you're just screwing PC gamers to accommodate the console noobs. Sorry about that. The first thing you'll do is pick your class. There are actually quite a few to choose from. The Assassin, the Kali, Kali? That's a weird name. The Sorceress, ah, that's more normal. The Warrior, the Archer, the Cleric, the Tinkerer, and Lincia. I'm guessing because she uses a lance? Lance, L Lincia, that, that makes sense, right? No? I don't know. Each of these falls into the category of tank, DPS, healer, or support. They are also gender locked, and while I don't have a problem with that, I know a lot of people do. Anywho, while this may seem like that's it, each class can actually specialize and change up their role a bit. For example, at level 15, the cleric can become a paladin, making them more of a tank, or a priest, making them more of a healer. The game nicely lets you see these specializations at the creation screen, so the player knows a bit better which class to choose and how they'll be able to play them later on. Let's see here. The assassin can become a shinobi or a ta Taoist. Taoist? Whatever. Kali, K Kali, uh, God, whatever. Can become a dancer or a, um, uh, uh, I, uh, hmm. Parents, cover the kiddo's ears. We good? They covered? Okay. I bet she is! The sorceress can become an elementalist or a mystic. The warrior can become a swordsman or a mercenary. The archer can become a sharpshooter or an acrobat. The tinkerer can become an engineer or an alchemist. And lastly, Lincina can become a lancer. She's a strong, independent woman who knows what she is and she's sticking to it. And while you may think that that's it, you can actually specialize a second time, further making your character your own. A more veteran player was actually telling me all about it and which classes can become what and what each of them does, but... I'm pretty sure I spaced out at that point and started thinking about puppies or something because I don't remember any of them. Anyway, after picking your class, you'll create your character from a few, and I mean few, options. And then you're off. Each class actually has its own storyline, from what I've been told. I start off the game walking in like a badass to save the day. Sure enough, Dragon Nest has a really fun click combat system. While it is a bit like Vindictus, another Nexon game that I recently did a video on, <coughs> shameless plug, <coughs> it feels a bit smoother, a little bit more like Terra. You'll left click to attack, which can be chained together for a combo. My right click did a cool kick attack that made me feel like a ninja. And then you have your number keys for skills. I started off with a shield bash, a cool juggling lightning strike, and a strong hitting combo attack that I usually ended up missing with 50% of the time. As you level up, you'll unlock a ton of new skills, which I'll discuss a bit later. The game kind of plays out like a lot of other MMOs at this point, namely Vindictus. You're gonna hear that comparison a lot. You will go to a city where you'll go through a lot of conversations to gather quests. Of course, there is story here, which is fairly interesting and funny, kind of like Vindictus, but you will be reading all of it. Stop trying to make me use my brain, Nexon. You know I don't word good. After you gather your quest, you'll head out to the field, which is essentially a hub. In the field, you'll find NPCs to pick up quests from, job boards to pick up more quests from, and several portals which lead to the instance maps. Yes, each quest takes place in an instance map, kind of like Vindictus. Because of this, some of the items in the environment are breakable, kind of like Vindictus. Screw you, books. I don't word good. You'll usually have a few quests in each map, most of which equate to kill everything. Even even if you're supposed to be gathering items, you'll usually do this by killing everything. It's like Dragon Nest knows its strong point is combat and sticks to it as much as possible. All of these maps seem to have a pattern to them at lower levels. Kill all of the enemies in an area, then a portal will unlock to a new area. Kill all of the enemies in that area, then a portal will unlock to another new area. Kill all of the enemies in that area, and then you'll move on to a boss. Kill the boss, return to the city, and turn in your quest. Kind of like Vindictus. And you'll basically repeat this for quite some time. Kinda like Vindictus. As I mentioned earlier, when you level up, you'll be able to unlock new skills using SP points. You'll also be able to use these to upgrade your current skills so that they're more effective. And it seems like you may not be able to unlock everything, meaning there's gonna be some diversity between characters, which is always good. Another thing that I feel like Dragon Nest does right is that as soon as you enter the game, you are put into a newbie guild. Some people may find this annoying, but it really helps push the community aspect of this game. And I must say, this is one of the nicest communities I've ever come across. Or maybe I just got lucky and only met nice people. 
that's possible. Either way, everyone I met was super helpful. I was even invited to a guild of some really nice people. Shout out to the lords. If you're on there, join them. They're good people. Who aren't cannibals, I swear. There's also a few other systems in Dragon Nest that I found interesting. One is that titles aren't just for show like most other MMOs. Titles actually give you different buffs, so there's actually a non-superficial reason to hunt them all down. There's also a mentor system, allowing higher level players to help lower level players for a whole bunch of different rewards. Furthering that whole helpful community thing. And then there's the enhancement system for your equipment, allowing you to enhance certain items to make them stronger. That way you can keep them up to speed with your level. Though this isn't really new or interesting, not really even sure why I mentioned it. Probably because if I didn't, someone would call me out on it. So there, I mentioned it. You can check that one off your stupid list. And at this point, there isn't really all that much more to talk about. I only got up to level 15 so that I could become a priest and test that out a bit. And I actually plan on continuing to play the game simply because of the community. Yeah, that's actually an aspect that really helps a game that much. And it's usually painfully ignored. A good community can really help elevate a game. In this example, Dragon Nest, which is essentially Vindictus, rises above that game simply due to people being friendly and talkative. I also felt that combat was a bit more fluid and responsive, and in a game based all around combat, that's kind of important. Much like Vindictus, I wish the game had more of an open world, and maybe it opens up at later levels, but right now it's just a city that leads to a field which leads to a bunch of different instance maps. Maybe one of these other games will have an open world when I check them out. Hint, hint. <laughs> Actually, I'm not looking at any of these games next, I'm so sorry. That was Dragon Nest. I didn't see one dragon or one nest. You lied to me, game. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. I've also put two other videos for you to watch right up here. You can also follow me on Twitter if you really feel like it. And if you really liked this video, make sure to share it on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus or LinkedIn. Do you share videos on LinkedIn? And if you really want to help the channel out, you can donate to me on Patreon like these other amazing people. And in all seriousness, no games community will ever beat my channel's community, because you all are the best.